Hello there, it's Hale with the Armageddon Report. We have four different active storm systems right now. We've got Typhoon Tembin, Typhoon Belavin, both those out in the Northwest Pacific. We've got Tropical Storm Isaac, predicted to become Hurricane Isaac, and Tropical Depression 10, predicted to become a Tropical Storm, which would make that Tropical Storm choice. So let's take a look at the Northwest Pacific first. So we've got Taiwan. Taiwan is under some, at some Typhoon warnings right now, and there's a blue warning signal for typhoon in for the china meteorological administration it goes blue yellow orange red to give you some context with that one this one belava no longer looking like it's going to be a direct threat to taiwan because it's now should being shown as curving away so potential impacts to shanghai though at some point and you know potentially so obviously there's something to keep an eye on let's see it would be the rough equivalent of a category two hurricane do not have that memorized in was it the China Meteorological Agency? I believe they use, is it pronounced Beaufort? Or Beaufort? Whatever that wind scale is, where it goes like 1 to 10 or something of the sort. And then the one tendon going to make landfall in Taiwan is the rough equivalent of a Category 1 hurricane. So over here, let's zoom out and go quickly to the Atlantic. Oh, let's talk about this real quick. 10% chance, so probably not going to happen out in the Eastern Pacific. But here we have... We have Tropical Storm Isaac, and we have Tropical Depression 10, predicted to become a Tropical Storm soon, so that would take the name Joyce. So, Tropical Depression, uh, not Tropical Depression, Tropical Storm Isaac, predicted to become a hurricane, or to become a hurricane there before making landfall in the Dominican Republic, Haiti-type area, and then to weaken again, and then in the official path right now, predicted to become a hurricane again before making landfall in Florida. And of course, also potential impacts could be up there. But of course, that's awfully far out at the moment. Now, future Tropical Storm Joyce may not pose a threat at all, because most of the spaghetti models, if you look at it, show Joyce curving away. However, there could be impacts possibly to Azores, the Azores Islands again. Don't know about that. Obviously, that's way far out. But yes, so that is what's going on. Let's take a look further at Isaac. So we've got wind, rainfall, storm, surge, and surf hazards. If you go to Espanol, you can say there's viento, lluvia, marajada, ciclonica, resaca. I don't know how to pronounce any of these words. Yes, and the avisos y vigilantes. Sears, I think that's the spatter for that. So we've got tropical storm warnings in effect there for some of the Windward Islands. I believe that it is hurricane watch for Puerto Rico and the British Virgin Islands. And then we've got hurricane watch down on the, what would that be called? The south coast of the Dominican Republic. And then a tropical storm watch is the green thing along the north coast of that. So yes, quite that's what's in effect right now obviously if things move along and end up you know in florida there'll be watches and warnings for those areas so that's what's going on right now with the four different active storm systems that are in effect so u.s weather hazards fire and flood you know these two things they if they'd already combined the powers then they'd cancel each other out so red flag warning is where fire weather can you know if a fire gets set it could spread quite quickly you know if you've got i don't know do fires randomly set themselves anyway the point is watch out for that and don't be burning things out in the open you know basically at all because that's what a red flag warning is and flood warnings you know flash flood warnings flash flood watch so uh, be careful what do they say they have that uh, phrase turn around don't drown if you can't see like the road for instance the road could be washed out and you'd have no idea if it's covered in rain and you could end up in like a river it happens people so yes don't do that just stay home or if you're already at work i guess you're going to sleep at your office today so here's the actual severe thunderstorm outlook today it's not you know severe weather wise it's not huge it's not a five percent chance of winds five percent chance of hail and the mesoscale discussion that's currently in effect is for the very heavy rainfall along with isolated wind damage slash more hail possible through the afternoon so here's the probability map specific to wind so for something to qualify as a severe wind it would need to be 58 miles per hour greater i believe that's 50 knots and greater if you're using the knots scale or whatnot so that's where 
you know, the, the mesoscale discussion is in effect right now. It's in that 5% area, basically. 5% over there, 5% there. 5% chance of hail for only this area. So for it to qualify as severe hail, it would need to, would need to be one inch or larger. And then tornado-wise, nothing going on at the moment. And right, and since there's nothing, you know, tomorrow is just the 5%. So we'll cover that tomorrow, so, but this is where, if you actually read this, let's just click on it, yes. Day 4 through 8, they actually do mention, where is it? Tropical Cyclone Isaac. You know, so obviously if Isaac makes landfall in Florida, some probably some tornado type of threats, some wind threats related to Isaac. Yes. So. That's it for today or something. SevereWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. That's where you can watch the other ones. That's where you can keep tabs on the drought or something. Yes. Wikiwix is W-I-C-K-E-D-W-X.com. Psychblogcanercyclocane.com. So, yes, I hope you enjoy your day. Hopefully you're not affected by any of these things. Hopefully it's just time to freak out. Hey, look, the colors have changed. It's now purples and yellows. Anyway, yes. So, take it easy out there.